61A, lecture number 11. Announcements. Thanks for recording yourself taking midterm one. If you have not yet been contacted about saving your midterm one recording, you can delete it. If you had trouble making the recording in the first place, we do have your notes about that, and that's okay. There will be no penalty, and we will try to improve the process for future exams. Most people had no problem making a recording, but the ones that did found it very frustrating, and I'm sorry for that. We'll try to figure out how to make it better. Homework 2 is due on Thursday, and next week the CATS project is due on Friday. You can get an early submission bonus point for submitting the project on Thursday, and if you want the checkpoint, which is one point to make sure that you're tracking toward the solution at an efficient rate, you need to complete the first part of the project by Tuesday. This project includes course topics, including today's lecture, as well as everything earlier in the course. And what is the CATS project? Well, it's something that tests your typing speed. There's a command line interface and a web interface, and your code has to compute the accuracy and the speed of whatever is typed. So let's try it. What a mess. Look, I made mistakes. My accuracy was only 87.5%. Wouldn't it be nice if it could correct my mistakes as I type? Aha, uh -huh. we'll enable autocorrect. Now, as I type, if I make a mistake, like having, then it's going to try to correct it for me. It doesn't actually look at what you're trying to type. It just looks at what you've typed so far in order to guess about what you should have typed instead. Undefeated. Up to that point. Oh, you can see my accuracy is much better now that I have autocorrect on. If I type a real word like wit, then it's not going to correct that. But if I type various non-words, then it will try to guess what word I meant to type. Uh, oh, and even corrected that one. So that's the CATS project. Hope you enjoy it. You'll use some recursion, some containers, and some data abstraction to implement that program.